Most people go through life believing that they react or respond to what happens in their lives. And the truth is, that's not the case. What we do is we react or respond to what we think about is happening in our lives, how we perceive it, how we interpret it. Here's an example. We're driving down the road, somebody pulls out in front of us and cuts us off. And then perhaps we react. Maybe we blow the horn, uh, give them the finger, or hopefully nothing even more aggressive, but we know that that happens. Why does that happen? Is it because they cut us off? No. The reason we react that way is because we think that what they did was wrong, was rude, was dangerous. We, that's how we interpret it and translate it. And then based on that, we react. And the way we tend to react in life tends to go along habitual habit patterns. So some of us, when something happens that we don't like, we get angry, we get aggressive. Some of us, uh, when situations arise that we don't like, we shrink, we disappear. We don't show up and stand up for ourselves. So it's depend, you know, it depends on our history and in our style. And honestly, these are probably patterns that we developed in life because that's what we needed to do in order to survive. At least that's what we felt we needed to do. And it actually becomes a neurobiological thing over time. Another example might be somebody says something to you and you interpret it as being rude, disrespectful. So you turn around and give them a piece of your mind. Hopefully it's not your boss, because if that happens, then you're probably going to be, you know, updating your resume really soon and looking for work. But maybe it's in a relationship with somebody you care about, but they really triggered you. And you know what we did? We took it personally. That's what we did. So in that situation, we might say something that's really hurtful. And then we feel like shit later, right? And then we start judging ourselves. So it sets off a whole spiral. And it's all based on what we think about what happened, how we interpreted it. So here's something that we can do in that situation, maybe to avoid going on this automatic pilot reactive habit pattern and doing something that doesn't work out very well. It's a very simple practice. We pause and we breathe. It's called the sacred breath. And what that allows us to do is to stop. And first of all, we can check into our body and notice what's happening. Maybe we notice a tightness of breath, a contraction, a, you know, this kind of thing. And through our history and knowing our life experiences, we realize that we're getting angry. And maybe there's that little expression <laughs> in the back of our throat that's about ready to come out because what's also happening is we're interpreting this. We have a story about what happened. And the story is, I'm not gonna let them talk to me like that. I'm gonna give them a piece of my mind. But what if we just go, wow, I'm getting angry. I'm getting triggered here. And I got a story about what's happening and I can feel an impulse to act out in a certain way. And instead of doing that, maybe we walk away. Maybe we look at the person and go, you know, I didn't really like that. Can we talk about it? Or maybe there's this compassion or empathy that arises and we realize this person said this because they're suffering. And we actually say, I can tell that you're having a hard time right now or you wouldn't have said that to me. Do you need some time? Would you like to talk about this? Is there anything I can do? See, this is responding rather than reacting. And the reason it happened is we took that sacred pause. Oh, wow. Isn't that interesting? I'm about ready to tell this person to go F themselves or take a swing at them. Okay. Hmm. Maybe I need to step away. Maybe I need to do something else. So it's really practicing mindfulness in a real way to be more conscious and kind in the way we show up in life. So I hope that's helpful to you today.